Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D. Thanks for tuning in to Making Beats. I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of elements in my beats. Um, this is something I showed off for uh, Sweetwater, sweetwater.com. Did a presentation there. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys all the elements to this song. All right, so pretty much i um, not going to show you the whole thing first. I want to kind of gradually work it with y'all. Um, so let's go with the first element, our patterns. I'll go with number one. So we just got um, pretty much drums here. Two different kicks, right? I got a kick right there from, uh, this is FL Native. So when you guys get uh, the new FL, It'll come with this kick and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Drum is on using my secondary kick. You can hear right here. Uh, not too heavy, not too deep. More on the high end attack. And uh, yeah, that's it for that first pattern. You can see there's a lot of things going on here. Let's move over. Number two, we have some snares. Which is pretty cool right these are all snares you can find in FL FL 11 let's move on you also have this hi-hat here pretty simple next we have a whole bunch of slow percussion I have a slow breakdown got a little bit of the open hi-hat got the got that toy rip got that hi-hat all right, let's move on. Let's see here. We also have this kind of boingy kind of feel. All right, smidgen block. That's what it is. So I kind of have that um, going with my track as well in the slow part. Don't think I have that going in the fast part. It got my claps. That's obviously the fast part, right? My and uh, and count hi hats. There's a kick. Hey, hey, hey! Change it up a little bit over here. Very Euro style pattern there at the end. Uh, I got my snare. This is for my pickup, my transition pickup. And here we go, moving on to Lush. This is pretty cool. Oh, what happened here? All right, so in the very beginning, um, you're not going to hear anything. So let's just move over here. There we go. Because my filter one frequency is, well, my, my filter frequency is pretty much low. Right, it's kind of doing that, starting from the very bottom. Do so many cool things with this. All right, so that's lush. Um, you know, just basic chords, um, basic chord progression. Actually, I wouldn't say that's too basic, but uh, you get the drift. Oh yes, cyclop. Bam. Let me show you guys cyclop. So this is my main, I guess, dancey pattern uh, bass line. And it can all change with the wobble. I have it set to this amount though, due to the uh, velocity sets not position. So pretty much, take a look in the piano roll. The velocity is set to a, a certain point to get that kind of sound like if I put this here you hear it changing right it sounds like a ping pong but anyway yeah I have it down here just to get that certain sound there's my bass line pretty much hidden F I think it's F I can't read notes, but 
um, I can get along, you know what I'm saying? So let's keep going. Number 12. Now this is my mix up. I have looks like five instances of Cyclops going and let's just hear it. Right, so that's pretty much um, my mashup. That's in the slow part, um, but that's also in the fast part. I just kind of chop up certain areas so it mixes with the main, um, with this bass line. Right, kind of doing something like that. And you know, I actually just move this part here, put it here, and uh, yeah, I really mash it up, right? So five inches of Cyclop, different sounds in each of them. You can you can really hear it. And uh, yeah, let's move on. Let me see here. What number thirteen? Might not have anything on thirteen. Oh, we have something on fifteen. Let's check it out. Okay, okay, so I have my 303 in here. This is pretty cool. Now, all you see is C, right? But it's because I have a pattern in Foskion uh, doing the same. Right? Each note in here is a different, uh, each, each, I guess, light, if you want to call it. Each part of the sequencer is a different note, different. Um, accent, different slide. You can uh, I also have it so that you can automate the cutoff frequency here and the resonance. And yeah, I really love this thing. This is a great tool to get some creative juices going. I can go on for hours with this thing. Just because it's so fun to use. And the crazy thing is, the Roland TR-303 sounds exactly alike. Like, well, I mean, you know, the 303 was first, but Foscion and the 303 are pretty much identical in terms of sound. And it doesn't take much to play this thing, right? It doesn't take much computer uh, resources to play it. Let's move on. I don't think... Oh, I got a snare. So I got a little reverbed snare there let's move on 17 okay so 17 is pretty much my stuttered vocals uh, if you heard in the beginning that intro uh, I'm using artillery this MIDI out is linked to artillery and I'm just looping whatever I'm saying pretty much you know in my lyrics and I think that's it. I don't have any other patterns or any other um, elements, right? So, yes. In the next episode, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys, um, you know, the structure. Pretty much play out each each part, and uh, show you the effects later on. How to mix it all. I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!